Has this government mishandled the COVID pandemic? Femi Olawale has researched this topic meticulously and he presents a body of evidence. He's joined by Colin from Portsmouth, who hasn't thought too much about it, but whom we've invited on the show for a sense of journalistic balance. Femi, I'll come to you shortly, but let's hear from Colin first as it's a little more positive. Colin. Um, I don't think they have mishandled it, no. Femi. Well, I mean, where do I even start? First of all, theoretically... Thank you, Femi. Colin. But I haven't even started yet. Well, Femi, I'm trying to give you and Colin the exact same number of words uh, so that it's a fair debate. But I haven't said anything. Well, you have. So far, you've uttered 10 more words than Colin, uh, including the phrase, I've not said anything. So, Colin, would you like to add anything more to your answer? I just think they've done a good job. OK, you've got three words left. I'll let you finish. This isn't how debates work. Eight words now, Colin. Um, no, uh, good job, end of. Yeah. Okay, and any more words, Colin? Oh, right, um, canoe, uh, 3D printer, barbecue. Yeah, oh, hold on, it's barbecue, three words or one. Uh, I don't know, I've, I've never been sure on that one, depends on the spelling. I, I, okay, well, you've actually got one more word anyway, because Femi just said I. I, uh, what? OK, and that is the end of the debate. Uh, well, it's quite clear who's won this, and impressively so, with uh, two words to spare. Femi, I've got to admit, I was a little bit disappointed with your performance, uh, considering your expertise. I, I beat you, mate. <laughs> Cheers, Femi. Thanks for that. Enjoyed that. See you on question time, mate, yeah? See you later, Andy. Cheers, Love yeah. Love to the family. I, 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 mm -hmm.